All right, hello everyone. Here we are in Konstanz and this is the dorm and uh, this is the uh, start of the Jakobsweg or the uh, Camino or um, in uh, Switzerland I think they say Via Jakobi and um, here's the sign. So um, from here 2,340 kilometers to Santiago. We're not going to walk the whole distance. Uh, we're going to do the first um, couple of stages and cover it in three days. Good morning everyone, this is day two of our little pilgrimage through Switzerland. Uh, we have walked maybe half an hour or so. We stayed in a little village back that way uh, in a farmhouse and it was very rustic. Everything was wood panelled in our room and we had breakfast this morning in their little restaurant downstairs and it was delicious. Everything homemade, everything be all. Uh, so homemade bread, homemade butter, homemade yogurt, um, cheese, meat, everything it was wonderful. Uh, today is a beautiful day, blue skies, uh, there's a bit of a cool breeze but it's a really nice conditions to be out hiking and in the distance behind me uh, you can see the Alps uh, so that is really wonderful as well. Uh, we should cover about 25 kilometers today and uh, generally it's just a wonderful day to be out hiking. On top of that it's Sunday, Easter Sunday so it's a wonderful day to be alive. Happy Easter and uh, Enjoy the tour. Hi, we've just come through this little town called Sirnach and uh, we were walking by the canal which goes beside the town and there was a sign up that said that any pilgrims that come to this town and who have the credential, the, the passport or the Pilgeralsweis auf Deutsch, um, will receive a free meal. You just have to come to this guest house um, and show them that you're a pilgrim with the, the passport and uh, they give you a free uh, simple meal supported by the town. Um, we don't really need the free meal, but we came to have a look at it anyway. Um, unfortunately, it's changed management. Uh, so the family that was running it uh, have gone to look after another business somewhere else after spending 13 beautiful years here in Sionach. Uh, so right at this moment, you can't get a free meal here. But I'm sure when it comes into new operation, um, they will continue that beautiful tradition of providing um, food to pilgrims. Um, because it's not actually given by the family here, it was written on the sign by the canal that that particular meal is then supported by the local town. I think it's a beautiful thing.
So we've made it to the Kloster here in Fishingen and uh, it's actually a really big and uh, beautiful complex. Uh, we've been in here to uh, the chapel already and inside they have the grave of the um, holy person whose name was Ida and the legend is uh, there's a small hole in the side of it that if you put your foot in that hole um, that an ailment that you have, I think it refers to an ailment on your feet, um, will be healed. Um, so we've both had a go at putting our, our feet into there, which is the traditional thing to do here. And what's also nice is that they have a beautiful restaurant here. It's actually a big complex. There will be a concert here this afternoon. Many, many people are staying here as well. There are many rooms. Um, and we just sat in the garden restaurant um, and met another pilgrim, uh, which is nice because we haven't met uh, a huge number of pilgrims along the way. In fact, I think she's the first one. Um, and she was a lovely lady uh, who lives in Zurich and she's doing her very first Camino. Uh, so we uh, had a wonderful time chatting to her. Uh, she was very interested to meet us and hear about our previous experiences on the Camino. And um, she was drinking some beer from the brewery here. Uh, and we had some, uh, some drinks as well, although they didn't come from this exact brewery. So we're nearly finished for today, a few more kilometers and we'll be at our accommodation for the evening. Uh, and overall, today has been a really good day, a lovely day to be um, on the, on the Jakobsweg. So good morning everyone, it's day three. We've just stayed overnight here in uh, a little place which is called Schwendi Stubli. Um, and basically it's the house of uh, a couple, re reasonably old couple, uh, Richie and Ushi. And uh, they've lived here for many years actually. Ushi inherited the house um, and uh, they host pilgrims uh, and backpackers, but especially pilgrims here um, on their way on the Jakobsweg and uh, where we slept is basically a uh, part of the attic of their house uh, that has mattresses laid out on the floor so very typical pilger accommodation um, and just over here behind us they've built a completely new house which is just for pilgrims um, and they can accommodate I think at 25 and 10 or so in another section here so um, if they have many pilgrims come through they can accommodate a lot but of course in the last two years with COVID um, not a lot have come through but what we did want to say is that this place is remarkable. Um, it's in a beautiful location, but what really made it special uh, is, is this couple, uh, Richie and Ushi. Um, they cooked dinner for us last night. They had everything laid out for us. We had a beautiful breakfast uh, this morning, sitting um, in the Stubchen uh, beside their kitchen. And uh, they're a really lovely couple and they were interested to talk to us and tell us about their lives and their experience and the other pilgrims that they've met and uh, regardless of how you sleep and the location uh, those experiences when you meet really beautiful people like these two um, that's what makes uh, walking on the Jakobsweg so very special so we feel um, tremendously invigorated we've had a great breakfast and we're ready to to start our third and final day for this uh, this Jakobsweg We've reached the top of the Hernley, which is 1,133 meters, and uh, was reasonably steep. The last section climbing up some stairs, um, but as you can see, the view from up here is just magical. So in this direction, we're looking south towards the Alps. They're all covered in snow, and they just look stunning. Uh, and back in the other direction over there, we look back towards uh, Lake Constance. Yeah. 